this is the Phantom Safety Pin. Welcome back to Let's Play Lego Batman, and this time we are going to do the free play mode. Um, free play mode is really interesting because it's basically, it lets you go back and get stuff you missed, so you can get 100%, stuff like that. Uh, and it also serves the purpose of letting you fool around with different characters and get to know them. Um, in this case, I'm going to choose the Joker, and there's a very good reason for that. It's because he has um, a bunch of different abilities that are very similar to many of the grapplers, and really a grappling character is one of the best characters you can play as in this game. Um, just because there is so much that involves grappling, especially in the hero levels, because Batman is a grappler. Now, basically, free play mode is unique because it gives you a set of characters as well to play as. You pick one, and then it fills in your other characters. So, here we have Jim Gordon, Man Bat, Bane, uh, Jonathan Crane, Harley, Dick Grayson, and Killer Croc, and the Joker, of course. So, that's our team. Oh, they already got True Hero. Um, yeah, that's another thing. I'm kind of cheating right now in this, uh, video. I'm cheating in these free play videos, and I have, um, certain things turned on. Later I turn on One Shot Kill, uh, right now I happen to have, um, the, all the stud multipliers on, and I also have, I believe I also have, um, a few other things on, like Fast Build, yeah, I have Fast Build on. Um, and a couple other things, but that's just to expedite the playthrough so you guys aren't sitting here for 20 minutes trying to, watching me run around trying to find things. Well, hello, other Joker. We need two Jokers! We have a pair of Jokers. But anyway, that's not going to really help us here because we need to blow this up, so get over there, Johnny Boy. Oh, Johnny Boy, the bricks, the bricks are coming. From building to building, and down the mountainside. But there are not any mountains in Gotham City. And now let's go, and now let's go find our first canister. Oh, I guess we need him again. My bad. So, basically, a lot of the hidden stuff in here consists of, like, canisters and stuff. Um... And, like, Joker cards and stuff. Stuff I didn't get in the playthrough. Come on, man, but gr come on, freaking grab the Switch, man, that. There we go. And really, it's basically, it's basically just, this is just going through, exploring parts of the level you haven't seen, and showing off some of the nifty little things the developers came up with to hide some of these items. Um, another thing, you don't necessarily have to build every single item in, uh, free play mode, because you can just switch to, a ca to another character if you need to, so... You'll see me skipping a lot of the building in this in these videos. And <laughs> glide suit. We don't need a glide suit. In fact, we're not even going that way. We're going to actually blow this up, build this grapple pad, and jump up here. Come on, Joker, let's go. Let's go! And why did I build that? I don't know. I thought we needed it. Another Joker's like. <laughs> Whoops! I didn't mean to I didn't mean to start running into that. I meant I meant to run. I meant to jump. Um, again, I haven't, this, th I was recording this at a time when I hadn't played the games for a while because I was busy studying for, like, exams and stuff, so I didn't get a chance to play the game as much as I could have. Um, now, our next canister, our next item is in that doorway, it's not a canister, my bad, um, but we need to get into this cloud of purple, of this blue freezy gas. Purple freezy gas, yes, Phantom, that's purple. That is the color purple. And we have two killer crocs, nice. Um, actually what's in here is a red brick. And it's a very specific red brick. It's a very special red brick. Now, this is going to introduce one of the gimmicks that the developers really love to do with these hidden items. And that is the idea of puzzles. They like to hide them with puzzles. Um, you saw it briefly in the Joker's uh, Carnival, that... Uh, his villain level. You saw it briefly with the bumper cars, but uh, pretty much every brick is hidden by some sort of puzzle. Every like red brick is hidden by some sort of puzzle. Crane, stop running into the freaking freaking cones. Cones. Anyway, the puzzle here is that you need to change uh, all the lights to match that color on top. So, like we need to turn that one yellow. The other one we had to turn red. And once you do that, we have. Small open, and there's the brick. It just appears out of thin air. There's our brick. Through the level. I believe
believe there's like a couple canisters and a joker card and the brick we had to find in this level, but nothing else, nothing much else. Um, so now we can move on. But anyway, yeah, develop the developers really enjoy, really, really seem to like hiding bricks and stuff behind puzzles and things in this game. And again, ha, glide suit. Oh no, don't shoot at me. Yeah, another thing I already have uh, turned on, I have um, regen hearts turned on. So that means we don't need to collect hearts anymore, so unfortunately no more heart eating. That's okay. Hearts aren't very good anyway. They're kind of stringy, muscly, kind of uh, taste irony, not very tasty at all. Another thing that free play often shows off is the limitations of the AI. Um, sometimes you get characters not smart enough to run into the uh, into a shoe or go the same route you're going. I'm gonna blow up this door real quick, but we're not going there just yet. There's actually a, can a canister up there we need to grab. Um, we don't even need to build that. Joker, you can't open that. Anyway. So, we're going to, uh, push this button. And out pops a grapple pad for us to build. Yay! Um, this grapple section is not anywhere near as extensive as the last one. We're not going to be backtracking across the whole level again like we were before. This one just kind of takes you across to that box over there and break the window! There we go. Yeah, it takes us across this box, and once you push this box down, out comes a gold panel. I'm gonna build that gold panel. Well, I said build the gold panel! Thank you! We build the gold panel, and right behind this door is our next canister. As you can see, we're almost done with the canisters. We have just one more to find. Now, aside, aside from, uh getting the canisters, you do need to finish the whole level. You can't just get the canisters and then save and put out of the level, it won't let you do that. So this basically is a full run of the level, but there's really not much, because you really don't have much choice, but it's not, it's not actually going to be considered part of the LP. Like, the chapter, the whole level itself, it's not really the game. The whole story, it's not the story. This is the LP, Phantom, what are you saying? Shoot everything! Sorry. You need to shoot your dick. Do you like my fancy changing? <laughs> do you like my fancy, uh, form shifting ability? I just bet you do. What do you mean you don't like it? Don't make me hit you with a crowbar. I'm serious. I have one right in my pocket right now. Get over here. Come put this blue brick over here. So help me, young man. I will turn this car around. Dick Grayson can't put the brick down. Anyway. Now, yeah, you're going to see a lot of um, two jokers in this. <laughs> because, again, the grappling ability. And and actually, yeah, Harley can go across that tightrope. Yeah. You already knew that. Why did I just tell you that? Whoops. Um, and you've really only seen their backsides when they're going across the tightrope unfortunately, in this LP so far, but, uh, yeah, see, I, I told, look, see, freaking, freaking, this never, this never made sense to me, Jonathan Crane can walk across the tightrope, but not when he's in the Scarecrow costume. They're the same character. But no time to worry about how poorly the AI is designed and whatever. It's time to go find another canister. Oops, not a canister, I mean a Riddler clue. A Riddler clue. Riddle R clue. That's what I meant. I totally meant Riddler clue. You totally heard me say Riddler clue, right guys? Yeah, you totally heard me say Riddler clue. I'm gonna break everything in the ice cream shop. Because they don't want to give me ice cream. Even the Joker likes ice cream. His favorite flavor is pistachio. Pistachio is really gross ice cream. And there's, we've already collected the canister in there, so we're not going to grab that one. We are going to grab that really clue, however. And height rope across again. Come on, Harley. Harley! Anyway. Yes, you can break that M in cinema, which I believe I show off in the actual 
uh, playthrough of this level for story mode. And another thing, ha! Toxin suit. Anyway, you don't need to really build that ladder, but I think I do anyway, just in case. Sometimes you do need to backtrack. That's another thing. I did have end up having to backtrack in this video because um, I missed a few things along the way, and I was missing can a canister, and I couldn't find out where it went. I think it was a canister. It might, it actually might have been a clue, a riddler clue. But the riddler clues are really the most common thing to miss um, because you really need to break everything to find them and go everywhere. Magnet suit. So looks like it's time for Dick to suit up. Come on. Yay! I'm gonna climb up the chute. And by the way, yes, that is Nightwing. That is Nightwing, and yes, he is a Robin variant. Um. So, yeah, he basically has the same abilities that Robin has, just like Batgirl has the same ability that Batman has, basically. Which I believe you get to see, um, Batman. Not Batman, Batgirl in this video. <laughs> yeah, you can see Batman in this video, guys. Did you know that? You get to see Batman in this Batman game. And I don't know why I built that ladder. Now, let's hope we don't have a weird repeat of, uh, that glitch with the ladder. Oh, that's right. We won't because, ha, we don't need a ladder. We can grapple. And, yeah, we can't hit those. My bad. Um, Jim Gordon, I thought, had a gun. He does not. Um... If he does, I'm not getting him, I'm apparently not getting him to take his gun out. Um, but Bane does have a gun. Stop jumping, Bane! No jumping! This is a no jumping zone. So basically, what we want to do is shoot out all of these, uh, all of these, uh, targets. And I make this look way harder than it needs to be, because I couldn't get the right position to shoot there. Come on! No, don't shoot the box! Come on! Ah! <laughs> Shoot the target. No! Joker is not the target. There we go. Bane, Joker is not the target. Anyway. Oh, I'm sorry. My mouse got ended up in the middle of the bottom screen and I didn't notice. That's why it kind of stopped in the middle of the building. Yeah, with De a lot of the times with Desmune, uh, if you decide to move your mouse into the bottom of the screen, it will stop the game from doing anything. The game will stop emulating. Well, it'll emulate the game, but it'll... Yeah. It won't play nice. It won't... It won't let you move. And look, we just found our Joker card for the level. Our me card for the level. Because I am playing as the Joker. And down this way. Uh, switch to uh, Bane here, because he's a little bit more of a heavy lifter, and he has a more powerful gun. Uh, down here, some goons to fight. Now, I originally did not have a uh, one-hit kill on in any of the Riddler chapter levels, or I think the majority of the Penguin levels, um, because, well, I didn't want to ruin the game too much. And then later I figured out, oh, well, if I turn that on, then the game will go faster, and you guys won't have to sit through as much video that you've already seen. So... Later I did turn on, uh, one hit kill, and so all the later videos have one hit kill turned on. I believe all the villain le levels have it already turned on. Now, I'm gonna go looking for a Riddler clue, that's what I'm doing here, I believe there's one out- I thought there was one out here. Um, turns out there is not in the hero level, it's actually in the villain level, I think. Uh, although I may be mixing my levels up, it, I may be thinking of a different level, but um, there's no Riddler clue out here, and that's what I'm doing here. I'm trying to find the clue, um, and then being perplexed as to why I cannot find it. So, if you guys want to skip, feel free to skip. Okay, if you're wondering about that jump cut, it's because I had to go back to find the missing Riddler clue. I did find it. 
Um, turns out it was way the hell back at the beginning, near somewhere, because I didn't break something. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely. You definitely need to break everything. And now we're gonna fight Clayface again. Uh, but this time... This time we have different characters to do it with, so we're not limited to, uh, the grappler type attacks with, like, the razor rangs and stuff. We have, actually, as you can see, uh, Crane is helping us out, giving us a little bit of a helping hand with his gas grenades there. Um, you might have noticed this, but the non-player characters' weapons don't actually do anything. They don't actually have any bearing on, um the bad guys are not. The best that a AI character can do for you in terms of being of the player character helping you is basically keeping the opponent busy so you can basically come in and wreck their shit. Um, but with the bosses, you have to fight them yourself. So, I believe there's something in those vaults, but I don't quite remember. I think I do show that off. I'm gonna switch over to Korean here. I mean Harley. Harley Crane! Crane Harley. Harley Davidson. Anyway. Actually, that has led to some uh, interesting redesigns of, uh, of the Joker. Um, there actually are versions of the Joker, someone that people have like kind of reimagined, that actually rides a Harley Davidson motorcycle. Um, for irony value. I always thought that was kind of cute, but that's just me. And as you can see, we have it set up to pretty much destroy uh, Clayface here, but I'm just gonna check things here and make sure that we got everything, because I think there's a canister up here that's fairly easy to miss or something. I, I think it might be, it's, it's either a clue or a canister. I forget which. Come on, shoot that, shoot it! Harley, shoot it! Harley, shoot it! Shoot it, Harley! Thank you. And Harley can't grapple up there, so up goes Joker. We're gonna have him, uh, break everything. Oh, hey, buddy! Oh, there's the missing clue. I must have gone back to get a canister then, or something else. I forget what. Oh, I think what happened is, um, I went to go check, but it turns out I wasn't missing anything, and I thought I was. Yeah, that happens quite a bit. Um, and there goes Clayface. He's done. And there you go, level complete, true hero 100%. All canisters, Joker card, Red Power Brick for score times two. And that's the end of the level. So, that was the first replay mode level. I will see you next time for the Ice Cream Factory.